when they do make the cuts, is it like, you know, we don't go back to like 2020 where everything goes wild, right? When they start making cuts, because yeah, so um, that's a great. So th- this I actually put this on Twitter, Mark. Let me. This is this is very important. So I think we have we have learned a few things. One, seven percent mortgage rates are higher. Stop the real estate market. Stop. Six mm-hmm. percent mortgage rates bring enough marginal demand back. Yeah, that you get small increments and below the median goes nuts. 5%, and this is really to your point, Mark, if for some reason we got cuts and margin compression and we saw a five, like 5.0, I am afraid. Yeah, I mean, legit afraid. Mm-hmm. Because what happens at 5% <clears throat> is you get a little bit more supply, but you get a, a lot, lot more de- demand. Yep. So I believe, Mark, if we fell to 5%, which again, some people are calling for, I want, I want people to be clear. There are some very, very smart people with great track records of calling rates, calling for 5%. I am legitimately frightened of a 5% yes. mortgage rate because the only way through this crazy unaffordability that we have is time. So that's what I would tell you, Mark. I think 6% is, is, a, is a layup to use a sports analogy. That's why when I asked about the, I'm sorry, when I asked you about the timeline, because it seems like, you know, today the report looked decent, right? That's what they wanted to see um, for inflation. So like when I look at a timeline, um, it's a little scary next year. Like, you know, if they start making cuts of the. Yeah, see, I don't think. Yeah, Jerome Powell does not want Jerome Powell does not want to see asset increases. I think I think there's a better chance and we'll know a lot tomorrow because we get what's called the dot plot tomorrow, which is just Fed speak for their you know forecasts. Uh, I think there's a better chance that there's no cuts in 24. Than three cuts, for example. Yeah, right. If you were going to tell me, Michael, pick one, three cuts or no cuts, I would choose no cuts. Uh, because I don't think they, they, we can't have real estate go up 20% again. We just can't. That's unhealthy. We we can if we get to five. <laughs> no, we will. That's what I'm saying. And I don't think Powell yeah. wants that because that'll just start the feedback <clears throat> loop again. If real estate goes up 20%, guess what happens to rents, right? We've right. all learned hopefully by Agreed. now that, that rents is a six months lag and rents go up again. And then this, this, then then housing could be in a bubble and then all these freaking crash bros might actually be right. If you throw on 20% again, too many, that's a problem. Too many moving parts to guess. I'm not that smart. So yeah. I, too many moving parts to guess. Like I find a deal that cash flows at the numbers I need to cash flow it, I buy it. And if I don't, I don't. Um, yeah. And then I build out a you know larger circling area of you know going into new towns. I've gone into I've gone into two new towns in the last year. And that was good because it was expansion, but 